Hi, I'm Dr. Paul Zak, neuroscientist and founder of The Six App. Today, we're going to look at how we measure brain activity during the Destination Detour Challenge. Three teams of adventure athletes flew to LA only knowing that they would be going on an adventure with a chance to win $10,000. Two surfers, two cyclists, and two endurance runners. Upon arrival, each team received a Toyota truck, a mystery destination, and a list of challenges. Before the athletes set out, we equipped each of them with a fitness tracker to monitor their biometrics. Over the next 36 hours, they completed challenges to earn points. The team with the highest score claimed the cash prize. The Six app uses neuroscience-based algorithms to turn heart rate into two simple scores. Value, how meaningful and engaging an experience is to the brain, and safety, how calm or stressed the brain is in the moment. Now let's take a look at the unique data we captured in Destination Detour. The first thing we'll look at is what happened when all three teams saw the trucks they'd have and learned about the adventures they would take. The teams have gathered together here in Los Angeles excited, are you excited? for a blind 36-hour yep. adventure challenge. You're off on an epic road trip for the next 36 hours. Destination Detour. Each team will receive a new Whoa. Toyota truck. Brand. We oh my God. unwrapped yeah. the car and it was this beautiful white Tacoma. When we were revealed the Land Cruiser, that was like my dream come true vehicle. Hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Okay, let's talk about this. So the Jasmine and Hillary team, really high value moments. Hit over 90 consistently. They love the truck. They were excited about the adventure. Josh and Sierra, they had this huge spike in value and they were totally comfortable. They weren't stressed about going on this adventure. They were excited about it. Their brains were really switched on. And then we looked at the third team. They were the most turned on. Their brains were ready to go. They're like, get me in that truck. I am ready to roll. The next thing we'll look at is when they got the map and had to figure out how to navigate to LA on their adventure. High safety was sustained in everybody except a bit of a dip for Sierra and for Lael. And it's my first time looking at a map like Holy this. Holy moly, that's a lot of stuff. Meanwhile, Team Tacoma. So north is this one, right? Like, well, let's just say they're still finding their groove. This is like the third largest city in the United States. When safety dips, it shows that the brain is now devoting resources to this anxiety response, and it takes resources away from being part of that adventure. So it tends to reduce the value score. Sierra probably has never seen a map. She's a GPS girl, right? This is just a new world for her. It's like, okay, what the heck is this? And for Lael, she may have looked around and thought, oh my gosh, this is gonna be a challenge. But still, these are pros. They're maintaining that safety, just a little dip saying, okay, I have a little stress response now. First, Josh and Sierra arrived at Pismo. They're getting ready to surf. They are really having a great adventure. High value, high safety. The drive didn't bother them. They had a great time. When we look at Jasmine and Hillary, they're out in the mountains. They have very high value and very high safety. That shows they're confident in their gear and their abilities. Even though they are not professional off-roaders, they had driven that truck, they knew how it handled, and they were relaxed and enjoying the adventure. The only difference was when Rue and Lael arrived. They're out in the mountains, they've had a longer drive than everybody else, and they're kind of exhausted, right? This was a long adventure for them, and now they've got to do this physical challenge. So they're getting a lot of value from the experience. It's an adventure, but now they're kind of used up some resources, and that may inhibit them as they start doing their challenge. One of the interesting things on this adventure is when Jasmine and Hillary had to do the shoe swap. You're going out for a run and you see a random person going for their run. We're supposed to ask them, hey, can we borrow your pair of shoes for a half a mile? So this was gonna be weird. You gotta find someone, you gotta talk them into switching shoes with you. And yet, they found a friend. Frank? Oh Somehow, God. just ran into my boyfriend's brother. We see this reflected in the way their brain responded to this adventure. They both maxed out the highest value, the highest safety, so that adventure with a friend is always more valuable than an adventure with fewer people or by yourself. When Josh and Sierra started off-roading on the dunes, 
we saw this great enjoyment, their value is high, their love in the adventure, and their safety was high. They're confident in their abilities and the ability of their vehicle. Team 4 Runner is taking to the sand dune, checking off challenges left and right. Drift spot, yeah. Here we go. Hold on, sweetie. Josh is already a Toyota owner. He's driving with his daughter. He's going to be careful, but he knows these vehicles. He knows how safe they are, and he knows how to drive off-road. So he just gets to feel that adventure. It's not scary. It's not worrisome. He's got his daughter there. He's in charge. The vehicle responds the way he wants it to, and it's just a joy to do. The next most interesting part is when we saw the camps being set up. What we found here is all three teams had key moments. So key moments are sustained high value experiences that are essential for human beings to thrive and be happy. You have a strategy? How do you want to do this? One pole in the bottom. Yep. When the poles are coming out, put them all in together. Yeah, it's good. Done. That's it. Feels like that took a long time. <laughs> we found over the 36 hours of this adventure is that the athletes had multiple key moments. They exceeded the six key moments the science shows people need to truly thrive. And I think that's a key point here that we're finding from the data. To live a long, healthy, and happy life, you've got to invest in those key moments. And interestingly, all three teams and all six individuals had these sustained key moments when the camps were set up. When I looked at the data from the reveal of who won, the brain data perfectly predicted who had the best adventure and who got the most points. So high value here means their brains are switched on. Their brain is using all of their metabolic resources so that they can perform at their best. Something that's very unusual is that the safety for each individual, all three teams, was extraordinarily high. They are ready to put all that energy into it without having a stress response. Josh and Sierra, at the reveal, had the highest value, the highest safety. They had the best day ever. Father and daughter, they're surfing, they're in Pismo, what could be better? The other two teams, lower value, lower safety. You could tell from the brain data that it was Josh and Sierra that would win the $10,000 prize. So there you have it. That's how we measured brain activity during Toyota and Gear Junkie's Destination Detour. To watch the full series and to learn more about the work we're doing at Immersion and to get the six app, check out the links in the description below. If you have any questions, drop us a comment and do me a favor, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and thank you for tuning in.